talking before the game just a little bit about their style of play and kind of what to expect, um, just even in preparation and practice. What were the, some of the things that you knew Southern Wesleyan was going to be? Yeah, they're very uh, aggressive defensively. Man to man is what they like to play. They got in foul trouble tonight and end up playing a lot of zone. But even in the zone, they're out chasing the ball and, and trying to deny. And um, you know, they like steals. They like forcing turnovers and scoring points off that. Um, you know, we try to simulate that a little bit uh, in practice, but it's it's hard. Uh, they're they're long and lanky and, and athletic. Some of the, I mean, we knocked down a couple of th threes right off the bat and then kind of cooled off. Um, what was the Yeah, we, we got down um, a little bit, uh, close to 10, 12-point uh, deficit and came back right at the end of the half to, to cut it to three. Um, you know, starting out the game, Julia hits a couple. Uh, we rotated the ball well. really thought we played pretty well. Um, they out-rebounded us in the first half. Um, offensive rebounds were, were really hurting us in the first half. Um, you know, if we could have started the second half the way we started the first, uh, we 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 I thought we we played really well second half. We just missed a couple shots right the first of the half, and um, they got some good easy looks, go up by ten, and then we never can ke catch up. In the second half, as you mentioned, they they kind of started to dump the ball inside a little bit more. Do you think the the size advantage or the the physical play had a lot to do with the point spread? Um, yeah, although you know defensively there were a couple lapses where um, we just either lost our person or got beat off the dribble, and, and they got the ball inside and, and finished. And that was the difference where we were taking some jump shots outside, which were good shots, but we don't make them, and they get some easy looks inside, and they get up by 10, we're down, and um, stick with them, but can't chip into it. You guys have won four of the last five. Um, what has been you know, some of the reason for that? I know it's a tough loss tonight, but 16-7 and seven is definitely not something to yeah, and I, I just told the ladies in the locker room that uh, this might be the happiest they see me after a loss. I think we played overall really well. The, the big story of the game is turnovers. We out-rebounded them in the second half. Um, shooting percentages weren't horrible. I think we shot around 40% for the game, 42% I see here. Um, and so we were taking good shots. Um, uh, second chance points were right with them, right about 15 points apiece. But the uh, the points off turnovers they killed us on. They, we had 21 turnovers to their 10. So... Uh, that's the story of the game, and um, that's hard to overcome against a good team. They're a good team. We've got to put everything together, have a complete game, and we just didn't quite do it. Coming up on Thursday, Warren Wilson on the road. What, uh, what are some of the things you take from this game as, as key things to work on? Well, I think we, uh, like we tried to take from Pensacola, we want to keep playing really good defense, um, rebound, finish the play by rebounding. And uh, execute on offense, and, and we're going to make you know a good a good amount of our shots. Uh, as long as we do the little things right, take the right kind of shots. So we go into that game uh, very pes uh, optimistic and, and uh, you know, really thinking that uh, we're going to, as long as we do everything, you know, to the best of our ability, the wins and losses are going to take care of themselves. And um, we're going to really look to have fun. And, and uh, you know, it's a quick turnaround playing Thursday night, but we'll be ready.